as far as your eye can see behind me, is Songs of the Shore. It's the working title of a little game me and my friend Bryson just started developing, and I thought I'd show you around, so let's go to the beach. Come along. So what's all of this really about? A couple of weeks back my friend Bryson sent me a message and basically told me he had an idea and well here we are. Those first messages were about seashells, a strange walkman and some secluded beach. We've been looking to make something together for a long time so this felt like the perfect opportunity. Right now the project is set up so I do the graphics and music for it and Bryson do most of the code and other things. Uh, we're collaborating on everything about the story, about the science, and you know, all, all the good stuff that makes a game great. The base concept for the game is you're a guy on a beach and you collect seashells and those seashells make sound. I am writing a soundtrack that should be pretty much compatible all the way uh, through the game so that you can pick any two shells and they will make an interesting combination. This is a little bit difficult, but I think it's a fun challenge, and I think the end result will be something really interesting. So, we'll see how it ends up. You might have heard this soundtrack before, it's Dream Merchant. I composed it for my portfolio project uh, during this spring, uh, over the span of like two months. Uh, and I'm really happy with the result. I think I have learned a lot since then already, so it will be interesting to see how the end result turns out. I've rambled enough, let's look at some stuff from the game. Uh, come on. Oh my god, what's what's this? We're we're in the game. I bet you didn't believe that. So this is this is currently in the game. Um we have this little thing. It's a cassette deck. It does things with buttons. I'll, I'll go more in depth uh, on it in a video about it, don't worry. Uh, so we have like, little drums, distortion, slow down effects, uh, lots lots of fun things to play uh, around with. And then you have some stuff in the back as well, but that's not important. Don't look at that yet. So basically, this is the beach. This is, this is Pearl. Uh, Pearl is the main character who you play as. And for now, you can run around can pick stuff up, you can listen to the waves, and uh, lots of fun stuff, L lots of stuff to do. And um, also this is some of my favorite stuff in games overall, it's just cluttered, I love making cluttered things uh, as an environment artist, this is, it, it, it's so fun, it makes the game feel very alive. Uh, but let's go get some seashells, let's look at how things work. What's this, I'm getting a phone call during the, during the recording. Don't get distracted. Oh no. Bling, bling, bling. All right, so this is a seashell. You can see it down here. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, and oh, whenever you open, the, the UI is a little all over the place right now, but whenever you open your journal, you get the seashells. You see? You see? Huh? Um, so whenever you collect seashells in the game, they appear in your little notebook and gotta catch them all. Um, so here we are back to the clutter uh, as an environment artist some of my favorite stuff ever is just all the things that feel like most people would forget about or not mind uh, stuff like i might be in the way oh my god oh no bryson's been working his off uh, but i've been spending four hours uh, a night painting buoys uh, so uh, yes, that's it right now. We have little radios, little sounds, things that do things and make things. This is going to be the best devlog you've ever seen in your life. That's why it's number zero and not one, by the way. Um, so, you saw that? I didn't have a shell. I picked it up. Now, I have a shell. That's pretty cool. And so, there are going to be some doodles from different things you do in the world. Uh, you're gonna be able to keep track of, of the things you do uh, and then this is what i was saying before with the combining of shelves so you see now you have two of them oh the light is like whoa that's pretty cool and so hopefully while you play the game you're gonna find some combinations that you like and you're gonna be able to run around pick up the ones you like and have them as a background element so one of the original things we looked at 
uh, while we concepted for this game was to have something in the background while you work uh, or study or do chores or whatever it is that you do. We know that sites like Rain Sounds and uh, Lo-Fi Beats and stuff are very popular so we wanted to make something like that for ourselves kind of um, and it's just a reason for Bryson to ask me for a Totomori soundtrack uh, for a game. And you're going to be able to just stand and look. It's pretty cool, right? But this is the game so far. Um, we've been working on it for about a month. And... We are hoping to have a prototype playable quite soon and I think it's best if you go over to Bryson's stuff and check out what he has to say about it because he's the, he's the main man, he's the boss. Um, yeah, um, thank you, thank you for watching this. Uh, I hope to see you in, in the next video, De devlog number one. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, hi there, post video here. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was all unscripted, so uh, it's a little chaotic, but it's also devlog zero. So I just wanted to introduce the project in a little more, uh, well, I guess it wasn't more structured since it was unscripted and everything, but whatever. You've gotten a little uh, sneak peek of the project anyway. I'm hoping to do another devlog quite soon, and that will be number one, I guess. If there is something you'd like me to go more in depth uh, on, I would love to hear it from you. So please leave it in the comments. If you did enjoy the video and would like to see the project going forward and sneak peeks and music stuff from it, then consider subscribing. Thank you for making it this far. You have a better attention span than I guess like 99% of the pro population. And if you did like this format with me just speaking over a video, then... Uh, well, please let me know. I uh, I can structure it a bit more in the future, and it was quite fun and relaxing to record, so I did enjoy that. Um, yeah, take care. See you around. Bye bye.